Hey, what up YouTube? It's your boy Meg. And I'm on my way to Micro Center right now for the launch of the 4070 Ti Super. And at this point, basically laughably, the 7600 XT. I was actually very seriously considering getting a 7600 XT today. Um, but I just watched Gamers Nexus review of it and I just really can't even be bothered with it. Uh, as we suspected, there is virtually no uplift whatsoever over the 7600 uh, from the extra VRAM. A huge pothole. As well as uh, it's like 5 to 8% faster, period. Um, mostly because of the increased clock speed and uh, the increased power draw. So at $330, it's just not a great value. Unless, you know, if you need the 16 gigabytes for something other than gaming, and I I'm, not, I'm not aware as to what that would be, you know, if you're using this for AI or for video editing and stuff like that, I guess. But uh, for gaming, I think it's gonna be a hard pass. So, I think I'm gonna leave it alone. They do have, I checked the site, they do have several in stock, a bunch in stock, really. Um, I've got some screenshots I'll throw up too. They've also got a fair amount of the 4070 Ti Supers in stock. Uh, some at the 799 price point, and I think the most expensive one I noticed was, of course, the Strix at uh, $949, I think. So that's kind of what we're dealing with today. I'm going to, it's 9.38. I should be there in about 10, 15 minutes uh, right before they open. See if they have a line. Maybe I can talk to some folks in line and see what GPU they're lining up for, what they hope to get, what they're upgrading from. Hopefully we'll get to talk to some people. Uh, but it's always a good time at Micro Center, so stay tuned. So I just got here to Micro Center and there is not a single person in line. There's a couple of dudes and cars maybe waiting for them to open, but uh, right now, uh, there's not anything. So that was curious. I thought this was gonna be a bigger launch. I thought there'd be some people waiting, but I don't know, like I said, there's one dude there, another dude just pulled in. There might be like two or three people here besides my dumb butt, so we'll see. Marry a person. So they do have some 4090s in stock again, and the tough 4070 Ti Super is 800. And the OC model they get another 50 bucks for. So they do have the 7600 XT, the ASRock versions, but nobody's here for those. Check that out, new 1660 Supers, that's wild, 200 bucks. So we do have a lot of ARC cards available. And I think these are the more compelling buy, or even a 4060 or 4060 Ti now, over that AMD card. So I really wanted to buy that um, Montec King 95, but they don't have the pro version. So it doesn't have any fans. And so I'd be looking at, I need three, I think I need six of those. I think I need six or seven fans for that thing. So they're 15. To twenty dollars a piece. Um, it'd be like over a hundred dollars in fans, so I think I'm gonna have to buy the pro one off of Amazon. So this is that Prime 95. Um, it has this mesh panel, and it also comes with this really cool uh, 
curved glass. Uh, like the box has both of them in it. And they don't have a red one on display, but that's the one I'm kind of interested in, either the red one or the black one. See, here's the, there's the mesh panel. But this one for 109 doesn't come with any fans, so it'd be over 200 to kit it out with fans. Um, and the pro version that already has the Montec fans is online for like 180. So maybe a little bit of a bust today, I don't know. Depends on how you look at it. Um, they have them in stock and they're MSRP, uh, but two, I think they sold two of them while I was in there. Spent about 20 minutes hanging out talking to some of the guys that work there and two, maybe three people came in and picked one up. Um, so maybe the prices will come down in a month or two, you know, like the dude in there mentioned, uh, it might be worthwhile to wait through February, you know, once the 4080 Super launches, you know, the prices are going to shuffle and change quite a bit potentially. So, you know, if you don't need, need a graphics card right now, potentially wait, see what AMD does, see what Nvidia does with the prices, you know, um, but they're here. Uh, the tough, the, the Asus tough, uh, version of the 4070 Ti Super is the 799 price point and then they get another 50 bucks for the overclock version. I would just get the non-OC one and uh, use Afterburner or GPU Tweak to uh, put a little overclock on if you want to personally rather than spend the 50 bucks. But uh, they have a Strix model in there for 950. I definitely wouldn't spend 950 for one of these with the uh, 4080 Super coming out at 999. Uh, so yeah, that was today at Micro Center. I was also thinking about, uh, I almost got a 4060 Ti since I didn't get the 7600 XT, but uh, I just, I don't know that it's worth it. You guys, you guys let me know in the comments. Tell me if uh, you want to see any of these lower end GPUs done by me and I'll, I'll think about it. But you know, the numbers are out there and uh, I, I do think the 4060 and the 4060 Ti are more, way more compelling buys than they used to be when they came out. Um, and now with, you know, 4060s are the, right at $300 to a little bit more. I would buy one of those for sure over the 7600 XT, even with the 16 gigs of VRAM, unless you have some specific application that you need the VRAM for. I, it just is not a compelling product for me. I'm back from Micro Center. Um, I wanted to take a look and see what the stock looks like now a little bit later in the afternoon for these and it doesn't look like they've sold any 7600 xts i forgot to take a picture of these so i can't be certain but these are the only two models that they had and i want to say that 20 and 10 was what i saw this morning um 4070 Ti super wise. I almost spelled out wise into the search bar. Um, let's see here. One, one, 21, three, 24, two, 10, 12, eight. So yeah, when I was there, these, the tough non-overclocked ones that are the MSRP of 799, they had sold two of them. Uh, so I'm not anticipating them to sell out of these by any means. Let's see here. Um, I'm just gonna pull up. my screenshots so i'm just comparing now uh let's 
let's see here. This is the... Okay, so the Gigabyte, they didn't sell any. They sold one of these white uh, Gigabyte Arrows. They sold one of the tough uh, overclocked ones. And none of the Gigabyte, none of those MSI, none of this Gigabyte. And... None of the Strix, none of that, none of this two fan MSI white one. And okay, they they have sold eight of the non overclocked tough models. They had 16 in stock this morning before they opened, and they have eight now. Now, that's if this, you know, online uh, count is correct, but it, it should be pretty, pretty close to accurate. So if you want a 4070 Ti Super, uh, you should have no issues. Please do not pay for any of these new GPUs. Please do not pay scalper prices for them. They are out there and they are available. If the exact model that you want isn't available for some reason, uh, if you can't settle for a different one, I would just wait it out. Um, more stock is going to be coming in, but, and this is just micro center. New egg has them as well. Let's see what new egg has. Yeah. So they've also got the tough OC 849 for this MSI. They've got this one for 800, a two fan, um, the Strix for 950, the Zotac. So it doesn't look like Newegg has many of the $800 ones. This, the tough non OC one is the one that I would buy personally. Let's see what Amazon has. Okay, apparently Amazon doesn't have them at all. So that's interesting. Um, and I'm certain that eBay already has these marked up. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. $1,200 for the non oc TI Super that is $800 right now at Micro Center. Do not pay twelve hundred for this. Do not. Uh, da, 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 da. So far, that's the only one I'm seeing. Ant online. I've bought from this guy before. Uh, a, a fairly re reputable seller, but a uh, thousand bucks for a forty seventy Ti. No. Uh, that Strix model is, we just saw it. It's 950 for a 4070 Ti Super OC. So you would be foolish to buy that for a thousand dollars straight up. But I'm happy to see that there's not a ton of scalping going on here, but do not buy that for 1200. Oh my goodness. So I did, I ended up, um, I, there was nobody in line. Like you saw in the video. Um, I did talk to one guy outside the store right before they opened. Uh, I, I walked up and stood outside the door, uh, like five minutes before they opened. And, uh, a guy, I don't know about my age, maybe a little older came up and started talking to me and, uh, he was buying, uh, which one he, he wanted the tough OC model. Uh, I thought he said, but maybe he bought the other one. Anyway, he was upgrading uh, from like a 2070 or 2080 and uh, kind of a hand-me-down system that he was given to his son. And he had, had a third PC that he had sold. Gosh, I don't remember what CPU he was talking. I think he had a 5800X and I, I, I know for sure he had a 3080. 
and he sold it for 950 so he's like i'm just gonna you know use that money to buy this graphics card and i was like oh that's cool he didn't want to be on camera though so i was like yeah that's fine that's cool um so we just talked about it for a while and then i talked uh to one of the sales associates in there while i was hanging out and uh you know he was like the the demand for this just hasn't been there people haven't been asking about it uh calling in you know all that kind of stuff and um wasn't really surprised that there wasn't a line or a bunch of people uh beating down the door to get one i asked him if he had any idea about 4080 super stock and he's like nah man we just don't know uh they actually get the shipments in the day of so like their boxes came in this morning they didn't know what they were getting until literally today so with the 4080 super you know they have no idea because i wanted to know if they were going to get any of those cool looking msi ones the ones that are the um they kind of look like the founder's edition Wow, so MSI doesn't even have it listed on their site. That makes me wonder, was that thing just like a... Is it going to be like some kind of limited edition or something? Um, here, we'll watch this real fast. And yeah, this one. This is the one that I would be interested in. And I, I mean, I'm interested. I'm not going to get one, probably but this is super cool um but as you just saw i don't even see it on the msi website so now i'm curious if they're actually uh gonna be selling them or not so that's very curious but yeah so he didn't know anything about what they were getting for 4080 supers um i just watched a moore's law's dead video and you know whether or not you believe his sources or not uh, I was kind of confirming a lot of the same stuff that I heard. Um, and people aren't expecting a ton of stock, though, for the 4080 Super. Um, so I, it's going to be kind of a crapshoot if you want to get one, potentially. Uh, it, it You know, I thought the 4070 Ti Super was going to be in demand. And I didn't think there was going to be, like, a huge line or anything like that. But I thought there would be people there i thought you know there would be a reasonable ish line and people um wanting to get one not not a line like outside the store but like uh people inside the store clamoring to get one so to speak um and that just didn't happen i, di I did think with this being 16 gigabytes that this one would be fairly popular but maybe people are holding out for the 4080 super or maybe there's just not that much interest in the supers period um, they're certainly not a great upgrade if you already have 40 series, right? Like if you have a 4070, there's no point going to a 4070 super, almost no point going to a 4070 TI super. Yes. You get the four gigs of VRAM, more CUDA cores, etc. but the performance is still pretty close. Um, close enough that it's probably not worth spending eight hundred dollars when you've already spent six or seven hundred like at that point i think you got to kind of check yourself and be like okay maybe i should wait until the next generation now because if you spent let's just say you got it for the basement price you you got a founder's edition at best buy you got a 4070 for six hundred dollars and let's say you're looking at a eight hundred dollar 4070 ti super now well, that's uh, $1,400 that you will have spent on two GPUs that you could have just got a 4080 or almost a 4094. Now, sure, you could you could buy the TI Super and then sell your 4070 and get some of your money back. But I just don't think that's, I mean, if you've got like the money to play around with and whatever, then, you know, it's kind of whatever. But also, people that have money like that probably aren't buying 4070s, period. They're buying 4080s or 4090s. So I think for I think for those people, those of you out there that are shopping for these mid-range GPUs, upgrading again when you just got a 4070 last year, I would kind of hang on. Um, or if you're really hung up on like, man, you know, this just didn't do it for me. 
Uh, I think you should save your couch, couch cushion money and your, you know, car cushion money and, uh, do your paper out or whatever and save and buy something more impactful, like a 4080 super or a 4090, which as you saw in the video, micro center did have 4090s at MSRP, not the $1,600 MSRP, but they had Strix models at 1999 and they had some tough models at what were they? 1800. So, uh, they're not marked up, you know, like scalper prices. They are the more expensive AIB cards, but they are out there. Th that to me makes more sense than constantly upgrading these mid range GPUs, you know? So I guess we'll head out to micro center. What next week when the 4080 super drops and I'm going to see what that, what that launch looks like. So until then, uh, I'm going to get this video out and then I'm going to finish working on the 4070 super unboxing and benchmark video and get that out. So I'll see you there and then I'll see you on the next one. Peace.